chaos in Brazil. As thousands stormed the country's capital, protesting October's election results, supporters of far-right former president Jair Bolsonaro unwilling to accept his defeat to Luis Inácio Lula da Silva, otherwise known as Lula, seen here tonight in an emergency address. Promising harsh consequences as Bolsonaro's election deniers smashed windows, wreaking havoc inside and out of the country's Congress, Supreme Court, and presidential palace. U.S. Secretary Blinken tweeting in part, quote, using violence to attack democratic institutions is always unacceptable. It's a scene all too familiar. Two years after the January 6th attack, only this time, Brazilian lawmakers largely weren't inside, and Brazil's new government is already in power, with Lula's inauguration just one week ago. But fears of an insurrection never fully quelled. In the days that followed Lula's win, Bolsonaro protesters blocked major roads. They set vehicles on fire, while Bolsonaro told the line, never formally conceding to Lula. Was the writing on the wall that this was coming? I would say these events were tragic but unsurprising, unfortunately. And there's been a consistent climate of denial among the, su the, the supporters of the defeated presidents. Bringing calm to a country at a political boiling point will be Lula's first major test of his new presidency. Marissa Parra, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.